Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slanted Lands, we headed to Maine. It was cold, rain, snow. I'm from California, man. But we made it here. Of course, I got my nursery bungee hat on my down jacket. I'm ready to go. So we came to Maine because I want to do some one light portraits of Maine fishermen. We're going to go out to a little town called Stonington. We're going to do some great portraits of lobster fishermen there. I'm going to do it with one light, a Triton, with my trusty Octodome with a grid. We'll use a lot of ambient light and mix those together. We're going to do some one light portraits of fishermen up in Maine. It's not too late to win this. And this. There were two main reasons for us heading to Maine. One, and maybe the most important, we wanted to see Maine. We'd never been there before. Just wanted to see what it was like there. And two was, I really wanted to photograph fishermen. Our goal here today is to show that you can get dramatic results with a single light and working very much on your own. Jillian's only gonna be doing BTS and I'll be moving my own light, setting my own light and photographing each of these fishermen. We were supposed to be there at 2 p.m. to shoot, which only gave us two and a half hours to shoot. Well, we got there a little late because of the issues we had on the road, so our time with the fisherman was cut just a little short. We had just around two hours. First, my run and gun lighting setup. I'm going to use a Photoflex Triton on a stand with an octodome that has a grid on it. The reason I choose this so often is it's small and it's easy for me to move around. That footprint is not very large. I don't have a huge softbox being blown around the wind. It's also a little more directional. I like the little heavier directional light. I'm gonna put the Triton on the stand with the octodome and I'm gonna hang the battery on the stand to give it a little bit of weight. I'm going to hang a second Triton battery on the same stand to give it a little more weight, but more importantly, I'm also going to have a battery I can quickly just unplug my head and plug them into, and I can keep on shooting. So I've got that right there with me the whole time when I'm walking around. Now to keep the stand from blowing away, I'm going to add weight. There's a Rock Steady portable sandbag that Photoflex makes. I throw water bottles in them. Uh, two water bottles on each side, and I hang it on the stand, and that's my sandbag and off we go. I'm using a method of mixing one strobe light as the key with ambient light as the fill. I'm only one person, so I don't want to move two strobes or a strobe light and a reflector on a stand. I just want to carry a strobe in one hand and a camera on a tripod in the other. This is going to make me very mobile so I can move to the next setup without having to go back and get things and make two or three trips. I did, however, bring a seven in one reflector that I knew was going to be too much. You know, once I take this thing out, I've now got to move it around and I don't have enough hands for it. So remember, my goal is I want to expose for the fill light and add a key light. So that's the way I'm going to set things up today. Now for my camera setup. I'm going to put a Mark III with a Tamron 24 to 70 2.8 lens on a Vanguard tripod. Using a spider holster, I'll carry a second Mark III with a Tamron 70 to 200 millimeter 2 point lens on my hip for quick access so I can pull it out and do a few shots and then drop it back on the holster. I'm ready to go. Two cameras and one light. I use a pocket wizard on the camera to trigger my Triton. I wish I had two triggers, but the problem with two triggers is when you put that camera at your side, you're gonna knock it off from the hot shoe. So I just have one trigger. I'm going to have to move it from camera to camera as I switch back and forth from the cameras. That'll slow me down a little bit, but not impossible thing to work with. I chose to shoot on the 2470 as the main camera because I wanted portraits that show a lot of environment. My exposure when I'm working with just one light. First, remember our principle. We want to expose for the fill light and then add a key. So I'm going to shoot on manual. It's pretty hard to balance strobes in daylight when you're using any other setting. I set my shutter at 1 60th of a second. That's going to make sure I don't clip the strobe. And then I open up the aperture until I get a comfortable ambient exposure. I'm going to use that open daylight to fill his face. Take a look at this first image. Now I add my Triton and dial it up or down until I get a nice highlight on his face. I'm using a grid on the Photoflex Octodome so that I can keep the light more focused and not have strobes reveal themselves by spilling all over the dock. I really like keeping the light very focused. So here's my first setup before the strobe, and now I'm going to add that Triton as a highlight. Here's a couple of shots from that first setup. I'm not really super in love with this setup, so I'm gonna move on to something else. I moved my first subject to the corner of the old building and reset my aperture to get an ambient exposure. I like this setup much more. I wanted the background to be a little bit dark, and I can control that background with my ambient exposure. I think it's worth losing a little bit of fill on his face to make that background just a little bit richer, a little darker. 
Here's our first image with a background exposure. You can see that his face is pretty dark, but we have a nice, rich looking background. So I'm gonna bring that key light around, my Triton with an octodome, and I'm gonna give a nice directional exposure on his face to give a little sunlight look, like he's looking out at the ocean, there's just a little bit of glow of the sun on his face. When you add this second light, it opens him up and it makes him look really nice in this position. Here's some of the images from this setup. I love this setup, there's some great shots of him. I brought out that 200 millimeter lens, did some tight shots to give us a little bit of a look at just his face, and I love that look. So there's taking a look at using a one light with ambient as fill as we photographed our first fisherman out of Stonington, Maine. Go to theslimelens.com and see the methods we use to light and to photograph the other fishermen of Stonington, Maine. We're going to post one a week, so go back to theslimelens.com often to see each one of them. It was a great shoot, we had a great time. Julie and I love doing this kind of work together and I actually enjoyed working just by myself with a single light. It was a great experience. Sometimes it's just nice to get in the zone and to do your thing. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. It's not over, the giveaway's still going. Go to theslenslens.com, a 150 to 600 millimeter Tamron lens. It's stinking cold up here. I'm from Los Angeles, man. I'm looking at my phone going, it's 85 degrees in LA. It's 33 degrees here. It's pretty cold, but you know what? It's pretty cool. We're glad to be here. One Light Portraits, Maine Fisherman. Okay.